All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. We are here at Click Connect, and look who are with me, Ori. Not a new face to the Ravid Show. We met almost one and a half year back. Uh, uh, how's the you know company been so far? Tell us more about it. Well, good to be here. Although today I'm wearing a different hat. Exactly. Last so, tell us more about that hat that you're wearing. Now you're with Click. How did the uh, transition happen? Tell us more about the Absolvo to Click story. Well, Absolver was acquired in January. Yes. And uh, maybe the previous event we met in, the Chill Data Summit, was one of the events leading to it because Iceberg was a big part of the reason that uh, Click wanted the Absolver to join. Yes. And now we are doing the dream, but it's much bigger scale. <laughs> Same dream. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's it's lovely to see that. Obviously, uh, two of my partners growing together. Uh, I'm kind of curious to know a little bit about what's the plan. Like, uh, I know you all have made amazing strides in the iceberg community with Absolver as a product. What do you think uh, is the next step? How are you looking at? Uh, and the community is super excited as well because you all are scaling. Yes. Tell us a little about your plan. Yeah, so at the, this event we we relaunched. You can, yeah. I wouldn't say relaunched Absolver. We are not relaunching a new product. We are right. integrating into the Click existing product called Click Talent Cloud. Yes. That used to write data to Snowflake, to Databricks, to a bunch of targets. And now there is a new target called Iceberg. Iceberg. And that's the new first release. We are going to release additional capabilities from AppSolver, like the ability to bring data that's streaming from Kafka or Kinesis or just raw logs that are on the object stores, but one, uh, one step at a time. One step at a time. So we took a few months to integrate into their cloud, and there are a lot of benefits. I can't even tell you how many deals we've lost because, hey, you don't have that connector and that connector, and Click so has... Every All connector, the but the hard connectors like the SAPs and mainframe and on-prem database, like the things that uh, you don't often see, and if you see them, you, they're usually not solved in a good way. And we take that and bring that to Iceberg, I thought it was a good value proposition. So, yeah, I think that's uh, that's what I love about the partnership as well, because you kind of get to offer so much more to the enterprise uh, companies out there, and it becomes super interesting for them where they get everything in just one place. Um, one more quick question. So, I know you're talking to a lot of uh, leaders here, a lot of customers. What are they talking about? Uh, what are they excited about? I know you all made a huge announcement about uh, Open Data Lake House. Uh, so, tell us a little about that too. So, I'm hearing, first of all, Iceberg is everywhere. It's no longer like, should I use Iceberg, if Lake House? <laughs> iceberg. Lake House on Iceberg, that's what we hear from everyone. Right. I think one of the things that they are most excited about is the ability to share across multiple engines. So in the so past, true. I could save some money on my warehouse by writing to S3 instead of the warehouse and pay for the cluster. That was kind of in the earlier talk. But today, there is so much happening in data. People no lock-in. They want to use the best of breed tool. How are you doing it? You're making 10 copies of your data. It doesn't make any sense. So ability to share across multiple engines using Iceberg, I think that's a strong value proposition. It's also one of the reasons I was hoping AppSolver would eventually land on a data integration company. Because a data integration company wants everyone to share. Exactly. The other side wants you know, to keep data for their own. And I think the, the real vision of Iceberg is multiple query engines. I love one. it. I love it. That's a great vision for sure. Uh, Ori, one more quick question for you is around uh, how do you see the future of Iceberg? Where from now to, say, next 12 months? Where do you see it going? How do you see it uh, you know, evolving? So, well, we partially already know because the roadmap for Iceberg V3 is there with things like new data types and lineage and type of CDC, you can say, from Iceberg. Right. So a lot of new good things are happening with the V3. I think everyone are going to be invested in bringing this in. For us at AppSolver, it's not a huge engineering event. It's a huge event. But for the query engine, a lot, a lot should uh, happen. So I think that right now we are not at the stage where it's still being improved and we are seeing large improvement, not small improvement. Love so, it. But it's already mature enough. I okay. Think that's, uh, that's the point. Now we are improving, incrementally improving. Fantastic. Also, on just, the, just on this topic itself, I'm kind of curious to know if you have like any use case that you can share, 
any customer story. You don't have to take names, but then maybe anything that you can share with our audience. Yeah, um, maybe even a customer I talked about talked to today that yeah. their architecture is bringing data from on-prem databases into the cloud, and they they use AWS to query the initial layer, which is the data lake. Yep. Then they want another layer for BI that the uh, the team likes, so they use Snowflake. Cool. And now they want to go to Databricks to do AI. And now they're thinking, well, I need to have all of these three these copies, and it's not just the cost of the copies. I also need to manage three copies and sync them and fix each one of them. And Iceberg is a great promise for them. And although exactly. they have seen multiple data warehouse migration, Iceberg is still valuable enough for them to, to jump in. Love it, it makes all sense. Uh, one last question for you. Where can we learn more about uh, you know, the Open Lake House? Is there a free access or something where uh, people can sign up or something and uh, just get in the queue? Because I know you all made this announcement and it's going to be GA very soon, very soon. So can you tell us a little about that too? Yeah, so first of all, go to our website. Yep. Read on the, the, the click house, uh, sorry, the lake house vision. Uh, product wise, there is a, a sign up process right now. So it's going to be a closed preview. And, okay, it's nice. and it's quite a list, which is nice comparing to the startup exactly. days. Yeah. So if you still can participate, especially if you have a good story. So tell us that story. We want good stories for our early access program. After that, GA is going to come. But first, we're going to start with the closed preview. Love it, love it. Uh, thanks for sharing that. I'll make sure we have a link for that as well for the audience, and we'll share that too. Uh, if folks want to reach out to you, keep learning about all the content that you all are sharing, where can they do that? All the content? Mm -hmm. The Click website? Okay, awesome. Uh, everything is there. The App Store website is still there. There's still a lot of blogs and content, but Click, I, by the way, I think they've done a great job. It's nice as a, as, a, as a person coming from a startup to see that other people are doing it. They're doing it in a better way that I would do it. So I think they're doing a very good job on the product marketing. You can see it on the website and more content is going to is going to come in. Maybe the last thing to mention on that, after we launch, we're going to have a workshop series that probably is wow. never going to end, like we did in AppSolver, Absolutely. and people could come and just join for an hour and build a lake house. And love that's it. That's going to start and be available on the Colleague website as well. I love it. Thanks, Ori, for taking the time out and chatting with us. Great work that you all are doing in this space, and I'm pretty sure the Iceberg community is super excited. I could see when it was announced at the keynote as well, everyone were Super excited, and it's the talk of the conference as well. Mm -hmm. So definitely looking forward to what's next, and we'll keep the conversation going. Thanks again. Sounds good. Thank you very Thank much. You. It's such a pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for joining us.